Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Satisfactory with Entrelysium. Hello. Hello. We're here looking at the wonderful view we have out of our hub. It's actually really nice. Usually I build my hub with this window facing like a cliff or something. I could I could get used to this window. Oh yeah, we could just sit on our porch and look out at the, the wonderful green landscape and the sunrise and be happy that we just snapped our fingers and killed half the universe. It, it, it reminded me of that scene, okay? It's, Doggo just it's, brought it's me for coal. Oh yeah, he does that. Wait, coal? Nice. Yeah. That's actually quite good. I mean, four coal won't do much for us, but it it like it might help us a small amount. I'm gonna put it in the in the thing. Like at, at the critical moment, we can use it to make a small bit of extra power in a coal generator if we need to. Yeah, like a tiny, tiny bit. Um, All right. What have we? What are we doing now? Uh, just automation or? Uh, we've still got hub stuff to, to upgrade, so that's the key thing at the moment, is just making enough uh, iron plates and rods to do all that stuff. And I think this might have all filled up. Oh, it's all it's all just run out of ore is what's happened. Right, you're grabbing the ore. Stick it in the, the machines and <sighs> I'll grab what we have here and put it into the, the thing. Oh, there's Ray. I wish you would appear in the same place for different people. Like that seems like such an easy thing to program well, in the grand it, scheme it of making. Well, it probably like there is a setting. So everyone wondering, there is a setting which is like your network quality. If you set that to ultra, I suspect it will send like the location of animals and stuff. Maybe we've got it set to low because Bentham's internet is terrible. I don't. Well, I don't know if low is helping the situation. We just kept. You haven't different crashed ones yet. This is the longest you've been without a crash. Ah! Uh, this is maybe true. Flashing. We got extra power now, so that's important. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub Ooh. feature, additional biomass generator, new buildings. Which uh, and then can be found I'm just going to immediately queue up the next one. Uh, oh, and Not this subjective. unlocks the space hub elevator now. That's weird. Analysis. Note, to it's really confusing. I think they've changed it so that previously the space elevator would be unlocked by doing a couple of tier one techs, but it is now listed here in the hub of grade five, or maybe it always was. I it, don't know anymore. It got changed in the early access to bring it early, I think. Okay, but then we still got the text, didn't we? In the uh, yeah, in the, in the next the next level, as we like rank up the terminal again, it'll be like you've now unlocked the space elevator. It'll be like, but it's already unlocked. Oh dear. I'm gonna build some miners on the iron. I'm gonna sort out power, get this other thing hooked up. So momentarily, everything's gonna break. How okay. dare you! And Or some nice sounds when that happens, at least. That's always cool. When when there's a good power down noise, like... Always cool. Right, connect these two to this pole. And then that's... Our power pole, and we can have more of those. That works. These are both looking pretty good. Doing right. well on rods right now, a little bit less so on plates, just because we use plates for more other things currently. Where do we want the miners facing? Uh, oh, we got to those already. Nice. Uh, I'd say, like, west. Just have them facing outwards from the hub, because we don't want the belts coming towards the hub. Things are already going to get busy around here. Like, I'm thinking that as we expand towards, like, a large-scale factory, we probably have it out over this way. Over the, like, the grasslands in front of us? Yeah. Yeah, this is where all the open space is, and also then we get to look at that out of our porch. Yeah, there's lots of really nice flat ground around here. Though annoyingly, there's a bunch of blooming poison things up ahead. So we'll have to have the, um, How the do factory you kill take a sharp turn. Hmm? How do you kill the, the poison things? I don't think you can. They're rock structures, it looks like. I oh. think they're just rocks that give out poison forever. Late game, we get a gas mask, so I guess we can just do that. Ugh. It's going to be a real pain. I forgot about that, that we're going to be quite close to it. Maybe we expand in a different direction, maybe we go east. I mean, I can always turn them around if you want. Oh, it's fine for them to be facing that way. Okay, That's I'm going to go just... do miners on the uh, the copper and the limestone. Okay, I'm just going to like have a look around in to the east of the factory and see how good this is for construction. It's, it's very nice and flat, actually. And most of the terrain features are trees that we can just chop down. 
In fact, half of the stuff I could just harvest. Oh, Ray's coming straight over. I didn't know he flew over here. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's going that way. Every time you say that, I look for the Ray, and then I'm like, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, yeah. Shame. Uh, do you want me to just to put the stuff going immediately into, like, a wire assembler? Um, you might as as well. There's an interesting thing about the, the resource in this game that is different from Factorio, where there's no reason to have the plates, like, on a main bus structure or anything like that. You mean the ingots? They... Oh, yeah, the ingots, even. That's the thing. Yeah. There's ingots and then there's plates. So, ingots are never used in any recipes apart from the basic no. components. So, iron ingots are only used for plates and rods, copper ingots are only used for wire, and stone is only used for concrete. So you might as well just run them straight into machines that make those, as long as the ratios are right. Yeah, I think we actually expand east, because the terrain is super uh, flat around here. And also, the further east we go, the less power poles you have to make to connect up to this drop pod over here. I forgot I mean, I was going to do some research b between episodes about what uh, the drop pod stuff does, because I know that there's some cool recipe things you can unlock with those, and I wanted to get some advanced warning, but I guess I'll just have to discover it like normal instead of How cheating. dare you? Yeah, I want to discover it like normal. This is, this is you know... I know, I know. A voyage of discovery. I've, I've read the wiki page once, I just couldn't remember the specifics. God damn it, Bentham. Oh, I should actually put biomass in this other machine. That would be a clever thing. Conveniently, I already pre prepared an extra stack of biomass. Oh. I'm jumping about a bit again. You you did my... glitch out there on Zoom a little bit. Every time, why is... I need new internet. Can someone make me a new internet? The only way. Yeah. Bunch more biomass. New make wire. Done. Okay, they need hooking up to power. Okay, I'll be there in a sec. I'm gonna go to the limestone. We're good for power. Which limestone? Have we got limestone actually, like, mining? Um, I don't... I There's a, a little miner on it. A portable one. Oh, yeah, it's down here. I, yeah, I, I remember now. Yeah, you can, you can make a... When you make the ramp leading it up to, to here, it, you can... Put it so it works as a like an escalator for us. And actually, there's a lot of potential I think for using escalators in this game because the late game uh, conveyors get ridiculously fast, and I think they move you you faster as well as moving items faster. So you can actually just get like an insane speed conveyor to rapidly transport you around your base. Yeah. At least I hope so. It seems like it, and I'd be very disappointed if you can't. What is this? Oh, just a random limestone node. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, it produces... Oh, no, it doesn't produce eight. I thought it was giving me eight per, but it's giving me six. I'm going to have to put down one of the uh, mining things. I've got way too much inventory. Definitely make a like a storage for concrete as soon as you've got that production going, because we want to store plenty of that to make some foundations. Because before we start to build any like large scale factory stuff, I want to just foundation the area we're building in because it makes it so much easier. Okay, fine. <gasps> Hello, Mana Ray! Oh, for me, he is far in the distance. How's this looking? Oh, it's all out of ore again. Oh, I, actually, I guess I can hook up the miners now. Yeah, Except if you hook, I don't they need to be powered. Room from, like, between these smelters and the hub for me to put the belts in. Ah. Because you went and smushed them up right there. I can move this stuff, actually, though. Yeah, how many constructors for concrete do we need? Just the one, right? Because concrete takes three limestone. Uh, yeah, well, look at the, the consumption. I think it's just one will do it. In fact, I think one constructor uses, like, 45 stone a minute, and that deposit... Is I impure. Think 30. Yeah. Yeah, if it's impure, it's 30. Yeah, impure. 
Okay, right. and then... It's something to start with, at least. And there's a couple more stone deposits around the place that we can use if we need to. Ha. Oh, oh, this is having a moment. No, connect to the machine. Why? Why put this backwards? Oh, I put them backwards. Well done. I tried to move the smelters and I put them both down backwards after carefully positioning them. Uh, the copper isn't powered. I'm going to stop bringing power over. So just, you know, so you're aware, I'm going to be draining the power. It's okay. I've got two biomass uh, generators hooked up, so we've got a bit of extra capacity. It's just a, a, a good sort of starting thing, I find, to have... Uh... Oh, I don't... What? What is this? No, can't afford. It's a good idea just to have, like, one machine per item for rods, plates, wires, and concrete, I find, to get started with, and then we'll just have building materials for everything we need to do. What am I doing here? Oh, I need to get plates. There we go. There are no plates. I need ingots. There are no ingots. I need ore. Welp. And... Do you happen to have some ore just on you? Uh, which type? Iron, Iron yeah. ore. Because you, you picked up the, the portable miners, and also there's no ore anywhere in the base. I've got ore on me, if you want it, come over here. Okay, I can actually, I realize, hook up uh, the power lines to these miners, and they'll start producing some. Because I just need a tiny bit so that I can... Um, Oh yeah, the the actual large scale miners do go through their animation before they start producing ore. Yeah. I just need a small amount so I can build the conveyors to connect the the smelters back up. But until then, we have no plates. Uh, where do you want me to store the concrete, by the way? Just immediately down here, or? Uh, I'd say bring it up to to the base. What what I would say is that we like combine the output belts of the four different constructors and have a stack of. Uh, storages and then we can just go to that stack whenever we need items i know exactly where to put the storage containers i'm concerned about you saying that next to our thingamabob so we've got like a lookout place and we can use the ladder up the side oh okay <laughs> why, why were you concerned because usually when you have an idea about something it it's terrible in some way wow and I mean terrible as in evil rather than just bad. Oh, <laughs> so it's actually good. Um, wow, okay, fine. Oh, actually, oh, there's a, there's a cool thing we can do. Um, let me build it. Can I make a storage container? I could just about make one. Wait, no, don't do that. I wanted to show you something. What? There's a thing, if you, if, actually, if you rebuild that, but, like, 90 degrees turned like this, with the output facing us. Okay. So about there, that's backwards. <laughs> like there? Yeah. And then, if you build a tiny conveyor out the front, or try to, and it looks really weird because of glitchiness, but there we go. So now, if you store something in this in this container, one of it will come out of this belt here and will be displayed in front of the container, showing you what's in the container. Yeah, okay. Come on, it's, it's useful. Yeah, okay. Making it work for the rest of them, however, when they're stacked that high is going to be difficult. Well, we need I to get up to the top of our, our, our base. Oh wait, it totally lets me do a weird glitchy thing and place- no it doesn't, never mind. It seemed to allow me to do it. And then I it can't stopped. afford the rest. Ah. We'd only need four anyway. I wanted to climb up to the top with them. And remember that there is a, a climbing area here. You can just go up these. Yeah, but this was going to be more fun. Also, I've got to try and scale it back down here now. Although that said, look. trying to get the resources out of oh, these I might thought. be a pain. I can't do ladders. And people keep telling me, you've just got to look down as you back onto the ladder. And I'm like, it doesn't help. I still fall off. Why do you keep telling me this? How far away can I access the container from? Not very. I can't actually access a third one. Yeah, you, climbing have to, up to you have it. to go up the ladder to access it. Just imagine it like. It, I, I like doing that because it's like you're in a. It's like the yeah, but it's ladders time in a consuming. 
Okay, well, yeah, if you if you do two stacks of two, that'll work nicely as well. I think it's three stacks of two, yeah. Yeah, and that should allow me to do the display thing for all four of them, I think. Like, if I do that, that lines up correctly, and then I could just connect. Not, oh my god, have you seen... <laughs> Look at what the what belt it's trying to build right now. What? That? that... It's brilliant, like, it can't do that, because it's not possible, but it... I keep having the belts try and build themselves in weird ways like that. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Move it out a bit. I'll lined up perfectly, because that'll be important. Raise it. Belt. Connect. Delete. There we go, so we've got an output belt for that too, except it didn't delete. There we go! It did just didn't delete the thing for a second, and then it suddenly came back again. It doesn't have to be perfect, just place it lined up in front and then make the belt out. Uh, yep, it's and doing yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's it's trying to connect to itself and it just shows you what it thinks it would do to do that and also doesn't then do it because it can't. My one's short than yours. It it works well enough, okay? <laughs> Alright. Right. Take that out for instance. We can make a more consistent thing for it later when we've got more lines of, of conveyor poles. Oh. Do we just want to bring wire in from over here then? Yeah, yeah, just bring wire, concrete, and the two iron things in. Oh, yeah, can I have a bunch of plates? Because I can't build anything right now. Where'd I mean, go? I'm going to run out of plates probably pretty soon. Uh, right, well, I'm, I'll just... At least now these miners will do some more and I can just stick them in the smelter and get it that way. There we go. There. Oh, these oh. need power. Yep, I do not have enough. Here. Nope, can't afford. Hold on, we got smelting running. No, uh, no I don't have any cable left. <laughs> God damn it. I need a single cable. Let's make a few. Ah, damn. Occupied. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, oh, did it connect? Oh, it did connect. Wait, it didn't connect? What? I have no idea what you're on about. It says no power, but it also shows there definitely being a power pole here. And I'm gonna just, like, deconstruct and reconstruct? Huh. There it goes! Okay, I think I ordered a power pole built, and it was like, you can't build that, but then built it anyway? Oh, yeah, because of the weird input lag with your end. Yeah, that was very strange, and it was just showing that there was a wire there when there actually wasn't. Right, we have smelting again now, and in a minute we'll actually have some plates to work with. Why isn't this running? Oh, I need to connect these two. There we go, now we have plates being made. I'm also just going to loot all the ingots that are here so I can make some of my own to speed up the process. Can I just build this yet? Why are we not producing all the all the wire I wanted? No, it's just not saying whether I need stuff or not. Copper and got? Co oh, bollocks, that's what I did wrong. Did you miss a step <sighs> in the process? Yep. Did you have copper ore going straight into a wire constructor? Yep. Yeah, everyone's done it. I did that too. And I did that after, like, five hours of playing. <laughs> it makes me feel a little fair, bit better. It comes into the game very infrequently. It's really weird, like, most of the, like, even mid-game stuff doesn't actually use copper at any point. Right, is it shift to try and match up to something else, right? Uh, no, control is to, to, is to lock to grids oh, there we and go. stuff. Yeah. Why can't I build this? Oh, because I don't have the iron it actually says I have. There is some weirdness with multiplayer that doesn't break the game, but breaks my brain sometimes. But I'm almost there. 
Can I please build this? There we go. Can I can I connect? Uh, mm, yeah. And We've then... almost got the two things hooked up. Why can't I build this? Because I don't have plates again. And then constructor. I think we need to work on our plate situation, maybe. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. I mean, it's. Mm, I just need a few so I can build this damn belt, and then everything's automated. There. I also like that iron starts running onto the new belt I build before I see the belt get built. We have it now. We have fully automated uh, orator plates going on. And we want, to, we want to scale it up pretty soon, as indicated by me having a shortage literally right now. Uh, why is happening? Hmm? Why is happening? Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I need oh, I more plates. I would suggest plates. running that into one of the higher up ones, because we'll need it less often. Oh. I'll, I'll move the belts to the end slightly and it'll be fine. In fact, that'll probably do like that. Uh, can't afford and invalid placement. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking of running the plates and the rods into the bottom two cons uh, storages. Cause that's uh, that makes sense, yeah. More accessible. But it's going to take me a while to be able to build those belts as I scrounge for plates. I'm currently stealing excess ingots from the iron rod production so that I can manually make those into more plates. It's okay, I built the conveyor belt. Well, I just need more anyway. By the way, I know we mentioned it last episode, but I want to point out that we have a night sun, which is great. Yep, it's wonderful. And people were trying to tell me, that's just a moon, you derp. And I'm like, it's a binary star system and moons don't glow that bright. Maybe they do here. If it has a really, like, I guess high, if it was like a yeah. super reflective surface. What's it called? Uh, it's seriously. the um, it's not the specularity. What's it called? Uh, uh, oh, the word for like the reflectiveness of a, a body. I get the kind of thing you're going for, but I have no idea what the term is. I should know it. It's killing me. Let it be the radiation. That's true. All the different kinds of radiation from the lovely amounts of solar radiation we're getting from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The game isn't properly displaying what materials I'm missing when I try and build things. So I'm just having to guess. I think I'd need more concrete and rods. Yeah, I'm out of concrete. I'm just going to manually make some. Oh, how am I for concrete? I am on 10. There we go. I've got plenty of that now. Uh, what else am I good for? I definitely need some wire. Luckily, we have that in storage now, and there's the convenient indication that there's uh, wire. Ah, power might have died. Yeah, I just got the... Uh, here, <laughs> I, I got your, your... Hey, it's your first power failure email. Yay! Do That's because I, turn, biomass? I, I turned think on a constructor. Back. Yeah, we've overtaxed the system. How much stuff you got running? The uh, Everything you asked me to run. So smelter and constructor. You've got nothing being like made in more than one constructor or anything? Uh no. I just did the wire and I'm doing the concrete now. Turning on the concrete oh. is what killed it. That's interesting. I I thought I had more power capacity. Well I thought, I thought the game gave you more power capacity than that early on, but I guess not. That's annoying because we can't make any more generators until we unlock Cup Upgrade 5. Do you want me to turn off like the wire or something? Um, no, we need like 500 wire for the, <laughs> the thing. I'll, I'm going to turn off uh, the rod production for now. That, that's a standby. There we go. That alone should be enough, theoretically. Let's see. Does it hold? No. Okay, I like I the will... theoretically added there. Oh, and I... Oh, no, that is the right one I shut down. Yeah, I'm going to shut down more of this production line. Also, when I hit standby the first time, it doesn't do anything for me, so that's a glitch. Okay, th let's see if it works now. No, I think all the machines are still trying to run and the standby button is broken. Yeah, it's reset. Why has it reset? Okay, discovered a new multiplayer bug. If I click on the, uh, 
the standby button, nothing happens. But if I then leave that menu and come back to it, I find that the standby button has actually been flipped. And if I try and flip it a second time, it it's reversed. Huh. I'm just so going to manually mix went plates. Through, clicked on them both twice till they showed that they were on standby. Then when I went back to them all, they were no longer on standby. There we go, power is back. Yay, what did you put on standby? All the iron rod production. Yeah, we're, good we've call. Got plenty. I've got you, 100 on you me. You might want to switch the ore over then. Put the ore from the iron rod thing into the plate thing. Well, th there's already more than enough ore to supply No, there this. isn't. No, th there, there is. The ratio is... No, I just right. nicked, I nicked all the ore. Oh, you what? You stole it from the miner? Yeah. Well, no, from the from the uh, the the smelter. Well, that's fine because it's being provided at, at a quick enough rate. Okay. Like, let me check the speed of the miner. It's either thirty or sixty. This one. Yeah. Uh, the miner produces thirty per minute. The smelter uses thirty per minute, and then the constructor uses thirty per minute. It's all perfectly ratioed. If there's any in storage, it's because it, at some point things were shut down and it's had a chance to build up, and so it's fine to steal that. Yeah, I'm just gonna manually make more plates still. Hell, you we'll said last coming. episode that that's heresy. And now look what you're doing. At the end of the game, we can't make extra power generation, which means we're seriously limited on what we can actually do. I definitely understood what you just said. We can't make more biomass generators, so we no, can't no, make more zoom, machines. No, no, your zoom glitched out. Oh, okay. Damn it. It's weird, because you're not glitching out for me, so I guess it's only my upload rate? Your download rate. Uplo no, upload rate. Yeah, you're right. Upload rate. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't understand you, because you can't speak. <laughs> yeah, that's a normal thing, though. That's true. It's same. Honestly, same. Oh god, are you overlapping the... Oh, that's... I was told to! I definitely didn't tell you to build conveyor poles on top of conveyors so that items clip through the poles. That that happened in our stream. I was told to in our stream. I don't think I told you to do that in our stream. I know that it theoretically could be done, but it hurts my soul to look at. Yeah, but then I get rid of the conveyor poles. Oh, that's... Now it's just defying physics. Defying I mean, it was before, physics. probably, but it's defying it more now. But look at it. It's perfectly the right height to have the wire go through. Uh, the conveyor belt is just too long to connect to this box. Yeah. Literally exactly too long. Brilliant. There. Just have to connect up the plates now, and then we just have our convenient storage. And this thing, to my mind, is is essentially the factory factory. As opposed to the non-factory factory? Yeah, because this is a factory for building factories. It gives us everything we need to oh, make a factory. Oh, okay. And the mi the minor issue with, with this belt connected. is it's actually kind of hard to get through it. Uh... Yeah, so what I was going to do is, as soon as we have uh, walkways unlocked, I'm just going to build little bridges over these uh, yep. conveyors. That, that's good. Because originally I'm like, I could raise the conveyors, but also that's effort. Yep, and I'm I'd rather with you. just be able to go over them. <laughs> oh no, the what are you doing? You could have overlapped these. I'm No, I refuse. <laughs> I will not stoop to that level. Plate production is so slow. I'm having to harvest all the plates we have to extend the plate belt and try and connect it to the output. Do you want me to help with that? If you've got some plates on you, please just finish connecting this. But also, please make it so that the belts don't just overlap before connecting. Ah, oh, I'm like three short. Let me go get three more. I think I have three, but I don't think transferring between players is a simple process. I mean, it should be, but oh, I've got to grab him off the belt. Can you see iron rods just sat here, not moving? Nope, I can't see any iron rods. That's a visual glitch then. It's <laughs> probably related. Well, it might have be been a visual glitch. It doesn't be related to like the the network thing. 
Well, I think it's just that the seam is registering that there's something there for me when it shouldn't be, and so it's displaying it, but if I try and pick it up, it checks with you and is like, nah, there's actually nothing there. Or something like that. Or Actually, it's probably just that it's showing it's there when it's not there and it knows. Okay. Computers are weird. It's connected up. Uh, do you want me to stop producing concrete? Um, we do. We are sorted for concrete, actually, so we might want to switch that, like, Back start to iron using rods. that power to... Yeah. yeah to make, well, no, to make iron plates. We have enough rods, I think. Like, yeah, between me and this storage, we have enough rods to complete hub upgrade uh, five in that respect. So I'm just going to put them in there, and then we know what we have left. Okay, I've turned off a constructor and a miner. We're no longer making concrete. All right. How much wire do we have? Uh, we're halfway there with wire as well, so that's looking pretty good. See, we just need more iron plates desperately. In which case, I'm oh. going to put a personal miner down on the iron. In fact, you know, you know what? I can do this simpler. I can just repurpose the the iron rod one. Yeah. Weren't you going to do that anyway? I don't know, but it, it means we're, we're we're already good. We just need to make sure that all this stuff is back off standby, and I will cut this belt temporarily. Okay, you're gonna hate it's what I'm gonna do. Beautiful glitch. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make some portable miners, and I'm gonna manually build iron plates. Oh, that's fine. Like right now our only limitation is iron plates so we just need to make more of them and the game won't let us have more power capacity till we do it so all, all bets are off as far as i'm concerned wow you've been broken by this you heard it here folks bentham is okay <laughs> with manually crafting for now later on it's going to become heresy but currently it's all we've got heresy is all we've got <laughs> okay i'm down with this uh, what have I if done? If only that would fit in the title for this episode, I'd put it down as heresy is all we've got. Stick it on, stick it in the thumbnail, that's what I do. When I've got something more I want to say than the title nowadays, I just put some text in the thumbnail. Heresy, it's all we've got. Oh, did you pick up a bunch of wires? Oh, you put them in the, the hub already. Okay. I needed them to make the, uh, the portable miners. Wait, have I got another portable miner? I do! It's quite nice that when you're carrying that thing, it shows you, like, her, like hefting the thing around. It's a nice addition. It is. Just want to complete the, this this hub upgrade. Yep. This is the the most annoying bit of the game. I feel like is when you're you're almost there. You're almost to the point where the game opens up, but the the goddamn biomass generator limit. It's like no, you won't. You get two. That's all you get. You can power not even enough machines to make one of everything. And you'll like it. Damn it. It's annoying. Well, if you want, there's four like portable miners down there that are just chugging. Hmm. That's a good way. To get a duck. There we go. But, so now, are we at the very limits of power? Yeah, we're literally hitting the. Yeah. The if we turn on one power. more machine, it'll die. We're starting to run out of biofuel again. I might just go gather some. If you've got the uh, the manually making of plates covered. I'm pretty sure that the answer to what you said was a yes. God damn it. This internet connection used to be so good. Just, uh, just deforesting the world. We are done with the wire. Excellent. We just need the 150 plates now. I think I have, like, 20 on me, maybe, or something. So if you need it, I can bring that back over. Right now, I'm running through uh, a meadow full of flowers. Which we're going to destroy. Yeah, I'm ripping them all up as I run through it. 
I don't think give a particularly good return on leaves, but also the super densely packed space-wise, which seems like a good way of gathering it all quickly. It's literally like two or three. Oh no, that's, that's flower petals. I'm also picking up lots of flower petals. When you put them in the research machine, like to me, it just looks like you've got like a mixed salad or something. <laughs> mm. with, with the petals? Yeah. It does kind of look like that. Actually, someone made um, someone made a, a like a rotating uh, sushi belt, which was actually just like berries, nuts, <laughs> and also the boxes <laughs> of petals, because it just all looks like food. Nice. My, I'm, I'm starting to get hand pain from having to hammer the E key repeatedly because you can't hold the button down. You have to hammer it. Uh... Can't wait for chainsaws. I mean, they they come far fun. too late in the game. Can you can you kill things with chainsaws? No, and it's dumb. You should definitely be able to do that. Oh, I want to chainsaw can't. one of those big things and like cut off its legs and it fall down. You are a monster. <laughs> but it would be funny. My hand hurts. Halfway well, there on the plates. There. I'm going to put in all the leaves I have. Oh, not le the plates I have. I had it. Actually had 40 uh, we can get it. We can get it. We got it. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah! That was a bang. I don't remember it being that loud before. Congratulations! You sure, Jada. Don't care. Feature molecular analysis machine. And here's our, our friend, the rocket thing. Building biomass burner. Building space elevator. Equipment object scanner. And I guess that was the bang because it turned like it, I don't think this was a thing before, but as of message. recently, when this thing enters the atmosphere, it makes like a, a sonic boom. boom. Nice. Which really scared me the first time I heard it. It was actually caught on stream. I was just sat in the in the hub Additional building something, and I just heard this kaboom, and I'm like the hell <laughs> and then I just and then I heard the thing going towards the base like what's happening am I being attacked it, it was fine I approve I'm gonna I'm gonna get some yeah, pictures there we, there we go we've, we finally got the hub complete and we can now do the rest of the game um, and I think that's probably a good a good place to end it right yeah where are you go you, you climbing up there I'm gonna follow you yeah I wanna I wanna end Actually, it no, by looking can, at our I can be in your screenshot let me just stand up on top of the hub. In amongst all this smoke. It's perfect. Hello. I'm gonna zoom in and see if I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna get the Mercosphere again. Making noises. Hi. There we go. I can zoom in on you as well. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. Did you not hear that? Uh, yeah, I heard it. Wait, why is like the... When... Why is the... Rod belt disconnected. Uh oh, because it's making plates now. Harvest. But why is it disconnected? Oh, because you because it would go to the rod storage. Ah, that's why. That makes so sense. I like if you if you have the Z Zeno the Zeno Zapper equipped and you zoom in fully, it then jitters about as you move because I guess the the increments of movement are now visibly higher. If that makes sense. Uh I guess. It's just jolting about everywhere because they, like, I guess technically now, as perspective goes, my hand is like 20 meters out in front of my face. Oh god! Bye! I love it. Oh, oh. ow! <laughs> ow, do we have any berries? Probably. Also, you can hit middle mouse now and it gets rid of the photo mode overlay, which is wonderful. They realized that it was done oh. to have that obnoxious thing in the corner. That's awesome. But it's still got the Xeno Zephyr in my blooming face. Can't we probably get rid of that? We have no berries. I've got like six nuts and I'm just going to eat them all. I, I've been harvesting a lot of them, so I probably have some. But if you've got enough to heal yourself... No, I do not. Fine. I have nowhere near enough. Okay, let me dump some stuff in the blooming chest. Aye. I'm just the nature guy, aren't I? That's my job Nature now. and burning. It's a good combination. Yeah, well, I, I harvest the nature to be eaten or burned. Yeah. Looks to me. Go. 
Hopefully None. five berries is enough. I have more stuff, but I need my own supply of healing items. Five berries enough. That's okay. Thank you. All right, so there we go. We've got our four basic components being made. The hub is complete. Now we get to the part where we build a giant factory somewhere. I'm thinking to the east. So uh, we'll be concreting the world soon. The east? But the fun. east is like untapped like nature reserves and stuff. Everywhere is untapped nature and stuff. Yeah, but the west but is so much more boring. East, the east isn't poisonous. Okay, that's a fair point. <laughs> So I think that's where we want to go, but I think that's where we'll we'll leave it for today. I right, thank you for watching. So, goodbye, thank you for watching, and we shall see you next time. Stay shiny.